Today in 2006, Subaru Outback Wagon, we're going to install part number 90195 from Takansha. Also to install this brake control, we're going to use the install kit part number ETBC7. We're going to start off our assembly by getting the ETBC7 kit ready. We'll start off by hooking up our gray cable to our 7 and 4 pole adapter. We'll wrap up our 7 pole adapter wires with electric tape, leaving out the 4 pole. The blue wire which is our brake wire, and a black wire which is a 12 volt power supply. We'll continue wrapping up the purple and white wires. The white wire will be our ground wire and the purple wire is a reverse lead, if it is needed. We'll then take our gray cable and peel back the sheath and there will be a black and white wire inside. We'll strip back the wires to make our connections. The white wire will connect to the blue wire and a black wire will connect to the other black wire. We'll cover those up with electric tape. And finally, we'll install the loom along the wires like this. Now we're also going to need another part to connect our 7 pole bracket to the hitch. And that'll be part number 18136 from Till Ready. Clamp this to the hitch. For brackets in place, we'll go ahead and add our 7 to 4 pole adapter. We'll bolt it in place. And then we'll go ahead and connect the two four pole ends together. We'll go ahead and add some dielectric grease to help protect the contacts, and then tape it together and use a zip tie to make a permanent connection out of it. And then we'll continue on running our gray cable up to the front of the vehicle. And when we do that, we'll make sure we stay away from anything that's moving like suspension components or anything hot like the exhaust. We'll also take our white wire with the ring terminal and ground that to the body. And when we ground it, we'll be using the number 14 self-tapping screw. So if a gray wire ran, we'll go ahead and take some time out to secure it with some zip ties. Alright, we'll go ahead and pull our gray wire up through the engine compartment and we'll route it towards our battery. Make sure we stay with anything moving like the steering components. We'll route it up and along the fender well and over to our battery and then cut off our excess length. Then we'll take this cable and strip it back as far as we can removing the gray sheath. Our black wire will run up to the battery, and then our white wire will eventually be ran to the inside of the vehicle to the brake controller. Next, we'll go ahead and mount our circuit breakers. We're going to mount a 40 amp circuit breaker for our black wire to go for our 12 volt power supply out back, and then we'll add a 20 amp circuit breaker that we'll eventually we'll use for our brake controller. When we connect our black wire to the 40 amp circuit breaker, we use two small ring terminals. And the other end of our wire that continues onto the battery, we'll get a larger ring terminal. Now we'll leave that connection for last. Now one thing to know when you run the wires through the circuit breakers is that the post with the copper will go to the battery and the silver post will go out to the accessory, such as a 12 volt hot lead or the brake controller. Now we'll go ahead and take our white wire and run it to the inside. There's a grommet located right here. We'll take a knife and make a slit in it and then poke our wire through. Also, we'll take our leftover gray cable and run it through there as well. The wire is ran to the inside and routed back to the battery. We can go ahead and start working on our gray cable. Now we'll pull the sheath back on that one as well. Our black wire will go through the 20 amp circuit breaker and onto the positive side of the battery and the other end will go to the brake controller. Now our white wire will go run straight through the ground on the battery and that will be the negative post. 
We'll finish off the ends, but we won't connect those to the battery yet. We'll take a few moments to zip tie the wires and secure them. Then we'll go inside the vehicle and remove the interior trim panel below the dash so we can get access to our wires. Underneath the dash, we'll go ahead and start connecting our wires. We'll start off with the plain white wire that will hook up to blue on our brake controller wire. And then the two wires in the gray sheet will match up color for color, black to black, white to white. We'll cover those up with electric tape. Now a red wire needs to be connected to the cold side of a brake switch. To make things a little bit easier to see and get to, we're going to remove the trim panel that's below the steering wheel. There's a screw on the far right hand side we'll remove and then we can pop it loose from the dashboard. Now I can see our brake switch and we'll go ahead and test our wires. It looks like brown with white stripe is our brake signal. We'll make our connection using a quick splice connector. Then we'll go ahead and zip tie our wires to safe and out of the way, and then we'll reinstall the interior panels. While we're reinstalling the panels, we'll make sure that the wire harness for our brake controller is routed to the outside. Our bracket for our brake controller is in two pieces. There's a small bracket that will attach to the dash using some sheet metal screws. And then we'll add our second part. Two machine thread bolts will thread in, make their own threads into the plastic, and they'll hold everything together. Now we'll take our brake controller, we'll snap it into the wiring harness, then take the brake controller and install it into the bracket. We're done with the interior, let's go back underneath the hood and make our final connections to the battery. Our two black wires will go to the positive side of the terminal. And our white wire will go to the negative side of the terminal. And to attach to the negative post, we're going to use an extra nut to go into the threads. Now it'll be a 6mm by 1.0 thread pitch. With all our connections made, we'll take a look at the brake controller. And it looks like it shows power and no trailer. So now we'll go ahead and hook up our trailer. You can see it turns colors. And now we'll go ahead and apply power. And the number shows up, so that means we've got a good connection to our trailer. And with that, that'll finish it for our install of part number. 90195 from Takancha on our 2006 Subaru Outback Wagon.